Hey guys, I'm James. You just joined the high table. And if we're in the lounge, it means just one thing. It's time for another coffee review. Let's get into it. Hey guys, and thanks for joining me today in the lounge. Before we get started, if you could do me a huge favor, it's free. Can you like the video? Can you subscribe to the channel? It helps me out massively. So if you can do that, we'll get straight into the review. So, today's coffee, we're off to Peru. We are looking at Cafe Direct's Machu Picchu coffee. It's a four roast, which is pretty much a middle of the road, medium, medium roast coffee, so it's not too dark, not too light. And it's described on the packet as being a full bodied with tones of dark chocolate. And, well... Let's just get into it, shall we? Let's just take that first sip. Remember, we all know the rules. The coffee has to be black. No cream, no sugar, no milk. Nothing that alters the flavor of the coffee in its most natural state. And it has to be filtered coffee as well, okay? So you can go cafetiere if you want. But I'm always going to go uh, filtered just to keep it even. So every coffee is the same. Now, right away right away i agree with what the packet says very full bodied like the lavazza it feels there's no other way to say it. it it does it just feels fuller it feels more honest there's more to it more robustness unlike the mayart that i had last week which to be fair i don't think i gave it a um a fair review if i'm honest uh, I don't think I had enough coffee in the filter when I made it, so maybe that altered the flavor. But like the Lavazza, this one, very, very robust. There's a lot of substance to it. And I can get that straight away from the first sip. If I take the aroma, yeah, it's it's not too harsh. Like that is, It definitely lives up to the four on the roast. It's not too harsh. And... When you take your time with the sips, you really do get that chocolatey flavor there. It, it's it's quite similar, in a way, to the Lavazza I did in the very first video. The Lavazza set a very good first standard, I think. This, I feel like this builds on that Lavazza. There's, there's a lot of similarities to it in that flavor. Um, maybe it's because it's south american it's the arabica beans it's from peru but this is a very good coffee this is one that um i certainly do enjoy uh it's very honest i think that's uh i think that's probably one of the best ways to describe it. it's a very honest very enjoyable coffee um I've got to say thank you for the recommendation. It was one of you guys that recommended it to me. And I've got to say, uh, good shout, definitely. This is a coffee that I'm definitely going to be getting in the future sometimes. Yeah, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this. Like, if I... If I'm going to give... If I gave the Lats a 7.5, the Lats a Rossa a 7.5... I feel like this is definitely this is definitely building on that. Definitely a very good coffee. I would I would genuinely recommend this one. Yeah, very good. I have very little to complain with on that coffee. And also, when reading the back of the package, when reading the back of the packet, you can also feel quite good when drinking this coffee because yes it's a fair it's a fair trade coffee which means that proceeds go to ensuring that farmers get a fair wage for what they're producing but according to according to cafe direct 50 percent of their profits are reinvested back into the farms into those farmers themselves that's on top of their fair trade commitment so they're doing well by fair trade standards but they're also building on top of that so if you want a coffee that's going to taste good and make you feel good 
This Cafe Direct is certainly getting bonus points for that. I mean, I mean, I'm not even going to let my uh, half Brazilian bias get in the way of me here. Like, uh, this is Peruvian coffee, so it's not from Brazil. Um, and I've got to say, it's it's better than that Lavazza. The Lavazza had Brazilian roast beans in it. This is certainly, it's a smoother coffee. That's the word I was looking for. It's smoother, and I think that's because of the uh, chocolate in there. That dark chocolate gives it that smooth, velvety sensation when you're drinking it. it makes it very pleasant there's nothing overpowering or harsh it's very good like uh, i would certainly recommend this so the important question what am i going to give this for a score well if the lavazza was a 7.5 and that was our starting point i think i'm going to give this My guts say an 8-1. My guts give me an 8-1. Like, it's a very, very good coffee. There is nothing I can complain about with this thing. Uh, it's smooth. You know what? I'm actually... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up it. I was going to give it an 8-1. I'm going to change that score. I'm going to give it an 8-5. Just because, although the coffee is honest with the 8-1, I can't ignore that 50% to charity... You feel like you're doing something good when you're drinking this. You feel like you're helping out the little guy. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to give it... Honest score, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Okay? I genuinely would recommend this coffee. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Like, you can see how quickly I'm getting through the cup. I'm nearly at the end already. What I would say about this coffee is... As much as I really enjoy it, I feel like it's one that it's almost like it's a level above what you should drink on your day to day. If that makes sense, it's almost it's almost like it's too good to be your everyday coffee. Um, I feel like if you have uh, a special friend coming over or something like that, I'm not saying special occasion, but if you're having a friend come over and you want to make a nice cup of coffee, if you want to show off this coffee for me would be the one to do it with um like i say it's very pleasant it's got a very nice taste very pleasant aroma it's smooth it's got that nice dark chocolatey velvety sensation when it goes through great taste i mean some people are gonna think i'm crazy because like i'm just talking about coffee but honestly coffee is something i take very seriously and i really enjoy this i'm certainly this is definitely what i'm gonna buy for more sauce so when friends come over as opposed to the coffee i have in the morning this is going to be for when friends come over i'm going to save the instant stuff for the people i don't like so honest review there eight five would be an eight one but i'm giving it an eight five because of it makes you feel good with the charity so i'm gonna give it eight five for that all for that uh, i'm all for helping out the little guy and it swung me a little bit um also before we leave the video uh, I promised you a fun fact about coffee in the last one. So, in the last video, I asked you, which country is the number one drinker of coffee per capita? I gave you a hint and I told you it wasn't Brazil. Brazil, we produce the most, but we ain't the biggest drinkers per capita. Who do you think it was? I'll give you, I'll give you three seconds. Eh... The answer is Finland, surprisingly. Honestly, when I read that, I couldn't believe it myself. Like, uh, I was genuinely surprised. But the Finns are the number one drinkers of coffee in the world, drinking about 26 pounds of it a year per person. That is insane. They're closely followed by those Icelandics, then the Norwegians, and then the Danes. So it is something about those Scandinavians. They, they love their coffee got to give it to them. I understand that love a lot, and I've got to give them respect for that. But I've got to give it to you, Finns. You came out of nowhere. You surprised me, and I've got, got to give you a, a tip. I'll tip my hat to you for that. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed this review, remember, as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, 
and ring the bell for notifications that way you're gonna get notified whenever i post a new video and i'm always gonna be talking about different stuff coffee is probably gonna be my one constant there's plenty of coffees out there to review um but other than that i'll see you guys next time have a good one